I'm Lieutenant Colonel Owen Scott. I am the Medical Director of the Initial In-Flight Care Division here at the U.S. Air Force School of Aerospace Medicine. I help teach the CCAT course, which is Critical Care Air Transport, and it's a very exciting and unique capability that the U.S. Air Force has to be able to transport patients at the ICU level care, and so what we do is we build intensive care unit type capability on the airplane. We bring it with us on the aircraft and can transport patients anywhere in the world. I'm Technical Sergeant Sharice Anderson and I'm a respiratory care practitioner. So currently I'm an instructor for the initial critical care air transport course. We train nurses, doctors, and respiratory therapists how to operate as a team in the back of the aircraft. We have every sim staged as if it is just the most critical flight ever, but they train us to the ability for if it was to happen, we know exactly how to snap into action. CCAT, pilots are burning gas. They need we to are to taking individuals that are already trained in their medical field. So a CCAT team consists of a physician that has some experience or training in the critical care field and nurses, which whether it's an ER nurse or ICU nurse and respiratory therapist. And we'll take those individuals and teach them how to take their skill set into the operational environment. We introduce the students to, to the, the bag sets, the allowance standard. We introduce them to the equipment that they're gonna be using. We provide them with lectures where we, we talk in a traditional classroom setting. So we transition from the classroom into the fuselage aircraft, the makeups of the C-17 or C-130. So after we go into the aircraft, we do a simulation. They're high fidelity mannequins, so they can bleed. Uh, the mannequins can blink their eyes. They can start IVs on them, and they just go through a scenario. Then we turn the lights down on the aircraft sometimes, and we turn the noise up to actually simulate a night mission. It's, it's very stressful. I think medicine is stressful enough, even just doing it in a hospital where everything is set up and ready to go for you, but we're taking that a step further and having students bring their medical skills into that more austere and dynamic environment and into the flying environment. We practice that by turning the lights off and turning the noise on. They have to use headlamps. They have to use a radio system to talk to each other, so we're going to stress people to work through those problems, to work closely as a team, and to really learn how to communicate and work with each other in a way that maybe they're not used to doing in the hospital. It's, again, a unique capability that we get to bring to the service. People rely on it. People that are putting themselves into harm's way don't want to do that without the capability of having forward surgical teams and having patient movement teams, that in-route care pipeline. So the in-route care pipeline brings the injured warriors from that very first echelon from the self-aid buddy care to the surgery to the next echelon of care all the way up to stateside where they can get their definitive care and their rehab and be reunited with their families. The lessons that you learn just from deployment, transporting patients, I think they're life lessons. Just being able to be there for someone on their worst day possible, it just changes you and I don't know, it just makes you want to be better. At least for me, it makes me want to be better. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is uh, pretty humbling to realize the impact that we get to make here. Uh, it's an incredible team to get to serve with CCAT, but then to get to go into a teaching role where I'm enabling other people to serve in that role is pretty amazing. Just knowing that I can support people that keep our country safe and be able to take those skills from a civilian hospital and operate to support those troops, it means a lot to me and I have pride in my job and my country and being able to contribute to it, it means a lot to me. So it's very prideful and honorable.